Hey, my name is James Lucas and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about what is the brrrr strategy? What does that mean in property investing? Well, basically, we're going to be talking about how you can buy a property and get all your money back straight away or very, very quickly that you can use and bundle that cash up in order to buy your next property. So stick around to the end because this is going to be an absolute game changing video for you. Now, this channel is all about my investment journey. I'm currently building a portfolio for my two daughters, Georgia, who's 22, and Emily, who is two. We've got properties for them already, which you can see on this channel. And I want you to join us on that journey together. So come and join us. And how you can do that is subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. And while you're there, smash the like button. Go on, smash the like button quickly. Go on, do that now. Smash the like button because that helps get more views on YouTube. So thank you. So let's talk about the brrr strategy. What does it even mean? And how can it help you grow a property portfolio? And I'll give you an example if you stick to the end on a deal that I've recently used this on with all the numbers. And so first off, let's put the letters down here. So we've got buy, right? And so this is where you're going to buy a property. Wow, revolutionary. <laughs> uh, but this is where you need to start, right? You need a property in order to make that property worth more money in order to get wealthy. And so what you're looking for here is a particular type of property, though. And that's a property where you can add value. That's the most important thing here. So this strategy will not work on a new build property unless you can add another bedroom. And it won't work on things like new flats and stuff like that. So we're not looking for stuff like that. We're looking for ugly houses. Now, often you can find this kind of deal in an auction. This can be a good place to look for buy, refurbish, refinance, rent properties. And so you can start at an auction house uh, and that allows you, if you look at auction properties, you can see there's a lot of properties that need a lot of love there. Uh, and so that could be one place. You can get off market deals. Maybe you know someone that needs to sell a property fast. That could be an option. Or you could just look at properties on right mover. Maybe you can see a one bedroom flat that you can turn into a two bedroom flat or a two bedroom house that you can easily turn into a three bedroom house. So that's where you're going to start finding a good deal. Next, you're going to buy, then you're going to refurbish this property, right? And so you're not going to spend millions of pounds on doing this. You're going to get it up to a lettable standard nice quality but not maybe the same quality as if you were going to live in it yourself uh, and so you need to have considerations on here with things like to get a new carpet it needs to be a slightly harder wearing carpet doesn't it because you want it to be good for multiple tenancies and multiple years and so we look at properties where we know we can do quite quickly really good refurbishments, things with ugly kitchens, ugly bathrooms. Uh, and so these are the things that we know that we can get a B&Q or a home base or any other sort of place. Uh, we can get a fairly cheap kitchen um, and, and that will get refurbished quite quickly to a good standard. And so we're not looking to absolutely change the house too much. We're just looking to do light refurbishments here plastering, decorating, carpets, those sorts of things is what we're looking to do. Uh, and, and then then we're, what we, we want to do is get the property revalued, right? So we want to get the property revalued and we call that refinance. And so that's important to us. And so we want to buy at a good price and we're going to show you some numbers in a second on, on, on my deal. Uh, and then we want to refinance that in order to get as much of our money out. Now, if this deal goes really well, we'll get all of our money out. Some people, if they do really, really well, get paid to buy houses, which is very, very good. And I'll talk about that in a second. And so we want to refinance that property. And so when we buy the property, there's ways that we might buy it. If we've got cash and we're in the luxury of that, then we'll buy cash. That's the best option. Next best option is to use something called a bridging loan, right? We'll use a bridging loan and they're very easy to get. In fact, easier to get than a mortgage. 
Uh, and so that could be another option that we get a bridge loan to buy this property. Then when we've done all the work and we've made the house look beautiful with the, ref uh, with the refurbishment, now we wanna put it onto a mortgage and that's where we're gonna get our money back. Then what we look to do is we look to rent out that property, right? And that's gonna give us cash flow each and every month. That's very, very important. And then we repeat, right? If you want another R on there, some people have another R on the end and that's repeat. And so we did that. So let's look at our, our recent deal that we did here in Doncaster. So we bought a property for £60,000 at auction on Burton Avenue in Doncaster. It was a two bedroom house. Arguably you could say three bedroom because there was a conversion in the loft. That was a bit of a mess up there. Uh, and so we decided not to refurb that. And so we spent £60,000 buying that property from auction. And then we needed to refurbish it, didn't we? And so we looked at refurbishing it and we spent £12,000 on refurbishing that property. Now, what did we do with that £12,000? We did a hell of a lot. And that's got interesting because in the South, I couldn't do this much uh, for that price. But for £12,000, we had a new kitchen and this was a big kitchen. We had a new bathroom. We plastered the whole of the two bedroom house, which is crazy. We uh, painted, so we stripped back, the, it was wooden windows in there, we stripped those back uh, and painted all of those. We, clean, uh, we, we fixed some of the uh, pointing and brickwork on the outside of the property. We cleaned the front garden, we cleaned the back garden, we had a new gate on there. We decorated, well I didn't, we, the, the guy that did it, decorated all of the property inside, painting and decorating in there throughout. Uh, and then we had a new carpet in there for 12,000 pounds, which is absolutely bonkers cheap. Now we got kitchens from places uh, like B&Q um, and, and that worked very, very well for us. Uh, bathrooms, we looked at a local bathroom wholesaler. Uh, we looked at other places like Howden's to get stuff as well. It was super, super cheap. You don't have to spend lots of money and it looks immaculate. If you look on this channel and you wanna think that, well, for 12 grand, it's not gonna be very good. Have a look at the videos on this channel um, about six months ago and you can see exactly what it looks like. Uh, it, it's really, really came together very, very well. So we were all in for this deal after the legal costs and stamp duty and stuff like that, around 75,000 pounds. Now we bought that property with cash. And I bought, paid for all of that with cash, right? My cash out of my pocket, uh, 75 grand I was down to do this deal. Now, how did I get that 75 grand? I released equity from one of my other properties in the South, right? That gave me the funding to do this. So then we went and got a mortgage. So we went to a mortgage broker and we got him to get a survey around and we got the house valued and this, doesn't always happen, but in this scenario, the house was valued at bang on 100 grand. Bang on 100 grand. Now, if you know about buy to let mortgages, what you'll know is that 100,000 pounds means they will lend you 75. So we got all of our money back. We lost a few hundred quid for leak solicitors fees and stuff like that. Uh, but we pretty much got all of our money back out of that deal. So I got all of my cash back out the deal, and then we looked to do that again. So we went and bought another property, this time down south. And this is where you roll your deposits and you can take one deposit and you can roll that deposit and buy multiple properties. You see, when I started out investing, I thought that you had to save a deposit and then you had to buy, uh, like get your house, get your flat, or, or whatever you were buying, and then you had to, either from the rent or working, save more money. This isn't what people do to get wealthy. There are people that have got thousands of houses, this is what they're doing. They're increasing the value of their property, then they're pulling that money out and rolling it onto the next deal. This is called buy, refurbish, refinance, rent. It's a great strategy for getting wealthy. It's a great strategy for de-risking as well, because if you buy a buy-to-let, 
and you do it up and you increase the value using this strategy and you pull some of your money out, even if it's not 25%. Let's just say you left 10% in the deal, you still got less risk involved in that property because you got less, less money left in the deal, if that makes sense. And that is a very, very smart strategy. And that's the buy, refurbish, refinance, rent strategy. Now we've got a guide on property investing as well, which maybe will help you uh, with different strategies and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put a link, uh, pin a link below this video. Go and check it out. Grab a copy of my guide. Uh, check out all the other videos on my channel. Subscribe, hit the bell, like the video, uh, and go and check out this video right here.